Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? And do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. Kid Casey. Took you long enough. Taken way too soon. That's 21 souls taken by him now. But God works in mysterious ways. God will work through me. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am. Send me. Preacher, I'm looking for something. Yes, my son? I'm here to confess. I need to cleanse my soul. Come with me. Let's talk. Do you deserve a cleansing? I don't deserve one, Father, but I'm asking for one. Yeah, well, if you're really ready, God will show us the way. You've done a lot of killing, kid, Casey. Father, I don't remember saying my name. Yeah, well, I'm well aware of your sins. Like the Bible said in Leviticus 24, 17, whoever takes a human life shall surely be put to death. What?
For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. Kid Casey. Took you long enough. It takes more than a gut shot to take me down. I've taken worse shots than that, Father. Yeah, so I see. And like it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment. Uh, Hebrews 927. 